Alright, on to another game. So, we just lost due to a bunch of different things. Part of it was me not really reading and understanding my cards. So, let's see if we can't do better this time around. I love these little bits of advice that they have on here because a lot of them are pretty useless, but like this one is pretty interesting. Um, passing quickly with a space bar. That, that one as well about spending fewer resources. <laughs> it's probably the reason why board wipes used to be a huge thing in the modern format. Probably still hard to a certain degree. Uh, I might try, I might, I, yeah, I'll keep this. Um, I have mutation abilities, I have fertile aid, uh, I have forbidden friendship and I'm capable of casting it this time. The only thing is, is it's kind of sketch to keep a two-lane hand, but you know what? It just paid off because now we have three. <clears throat> Alright, so red and white. Alright, what's this thing do? Whenever you cycle, pay two, two damage circuit creature, and you gain two life. Most well, importantly, it's a three-two for two. Holy mother. That is insane. Um... Yeah. Well, we'll cast Forbidden Friendship. Just so we have some blockers. Not gonna attack yet, though. Dinosaur and a dude. Yeah, my, my T drop's not as impressive as yours. But, unless you pump your monster, I should be able to block both of them. Ooh. Primal Empathy. That's a card I've been looking forward to trying out. Alright, so... I can't... S safely attack yet, so I'm not going to. Hmm... <laughs> yeah, I can't use that yet. But there are ducks, like my Animar deck in real life would would definitely take advantage of that. So yeah, we'll just have to take the two life here, which is fine, because we gained two lives, so now we're just kind of at our starting life total. If we get another card, we can turn a miniature dinosaur, or another card, another land card, we can get our miniature dinosaur up, but we, we didn't get that. So, what we're going to do is we're going to cast Fertilid. And with that, I mean, it's going to take another turn, but we can probably get some land out. I think... As much as I hate expending extra mana... Yeah... Using Fertilid for at least one ramp is gonna be kind of important. Ooh! And then we lose it. Wait, wouldn't that have been capable of a full-on board wipe? Okay, well, there's our next land, so now we have the ability to put down something that's truly terrifying and hopefully useful. <laughs> and... I'm gonna want to keep... No! Shoot! I didn't... Uh... Oh, well. I still want to stay on the defensive for right now. <clears throat> that was one of the better cards on the deck. We'll block with the human. It seems like they probably have a combat trick. <clears throat> okay, that's pretty cool. Um... Hmm. I 
can be done at instant speed. I think right now a key play to make would be Primal Empathy. And then I can run Keep Safe as a backup. And with this combo, I should be able to set myself up for a future win. So I have Keep Safe as a way to counter if they go after my Cloud Piercer. I can use Cloud Piercer to block. Maybe Hide and Reflexes will be enough to. See, that's exactly what I was talking about. Mmm, <clears throat> do I attack? I do not attack. There are too many threats on the board. I don't know if our opponent just didn't go triple color and is trying to go Boros. Um... Hmm. We can just we can assume it's a bluff and hopefully be safe. <laughs> because right now being able to draw cards is pretty important. <laughs> Especially because one of the things we really need right now is land, so we can play better stuff. Like the sandworm. Oh, I see right there. There's land that helps. All right, so <clears throat> we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, uh, I'm thinking we'll play. Kinan. And then lead the stampede. Yep, we'll get a cloud piercer and a thieving otter, which hopefully we can combine together to make something really powerful. Then <clears throat> Then we will end. <laughs> okay. That's honestly not the worst. I could still... I don't mind chump walking with Kinnon. Uh, she's not really going to provide a whole lot of value at the moment. <clears throat> but... I want to drop Thieving Otter. If I can get another land next turn, what I'm going to do is drop Thieving Otter and then put the Cloud Piercer on it. Or maybe not. I don't know. Well, I can play Heightened Reflexes actually and then put the Cloud Piercer on the dinosaur like I did last time. Then it would have Haste. Um. So I can do about any of that, so it's fine. Well, that's annoying. Now our opponent has a free reign to get eight points of damage in. The ring is down to six. Um. Okay. Odd choice, but all right. I might have done the damage first. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We ooh. I'll play Greatest Sandworm. And I can worry about the various combos next turn. So because he currently only has one thing that can block that. That's going to be a pretty big threat, so he's got to figure out a way to deal with that. Okay, two. 
I believe that currently has double strike, possibly. I don't know, but I definitely have an extra card. Um, I would normally play the force in this situation, but that's not a really relevant play at the moment, so we'll play Forbidden Friendship. We will mutate the Cloud Piercer onto the dinosaur. Go over. What would I want to discard? Maybe the forest? Yeah, we'll, we'll discard the forest. And we go second of psych, uh, heightened reflexes. This turn, I think we're going to be attacking. <laughs> yeah, he's going to try tapping something down. Yep. That's fine. Alright, let's see what he does. Takes damage. Cool. <clears throat> that does only leave us with one blocker, but... Here's the thing. Currently, we're in a situation where we're going to keep drawing cards. Because of Primal Empathy. I have removal in here. So I can eventually get rid of that checkpoint officer, and then I'd be just become nothing but a threat and a problem. But... And I mean, if I'm drawing two cards a turn, I'm going to eventually get there, but... I still don't have my clear win. I just have a guaranteed ability to do a noteworthy amount of damage every single turn up until I get rid of that checkpoint officer. I currently have a chum blocker. <sighs> I think the biggest problem in this situation, weirdly enough, is that I'm only at 10 life. Mm, okay. Alright, those are both good draws. Um, and we're going to put down the Lava Serpent because it is big. And then we will put down the Humble Naturalist because we can. Um, then we are going... Oops, hold up. You are not attacking. Uh, yeah, we'll attack. So this is a pretty good play right now. He can't he can't do anything except shut down some of my bigger blocks. Our bigger attacks. Oh, he's gonna try killing the cloud piercer. Makes sense. Come to think of it, I probably shouldn't have put down the humble naturalist because then I could have used Titan reflexes to. Yeah. If I had done that, I would have been able to kill. Thing. But next turn, I can use heightened reflexes to probably without a doubt get rid of this imposing Vantasaur. Oh, he's got another Thundermane. That makes sense, it's a good card. A 3 2 for 2, not bad and limited. Are you attacking with your most? Oh, okay. <laughs> hmm. Well, um, I've got to say I'm not that concerned about the choice because I have no problem. Okay, he's, he's redacted. Um, we'll put the human in front of it. I have the biggest. Put down that. We will play a thieving otter real quick. Doesn't help us at the moment, but let's 
see. So he's gonna probably tap down our sandworm. That's fine. Yep. I will attack with the lava serpent. And I'm guessing he's gonna block with the Vantasar. Yep. And before damage, I want you to play heightened reflexes and get rid of it. Keep saying he, but they have a Liliana for their avatar. Oh, there you go. And I can do it again with my Thieving Otter. They try to attack with the Wolverine or the Thundermane. I don't think they were really anticipating that. Um, I think they intend to burn it out. No? You need a second burn spell to make that relevant right now, dude. Because I can't block, so I don't... I don't see why... Sometimes opponents make confusing plays. That's all I have to say about that. Oh. Uh, okay. I'm guessing Thundermane. Calling it now. They're bringing back a Thundermane. Oh, no. Okay, that was their plan. Clever. I like it. Not happy about it, but I like it. I think we're going to get rid of that Wolverine. I think it has a double strike right now. It does. But we still kill it. We also still get the extra draw. And hoo 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 hoo. This is cool. Now our greater sandworm has flying. Um, before I play that, I'm gonna play an adventurous impulse. Uh, I guess we gotta swap our cliffs. Put that down. Play another humble naturalist. And we will attack for seven in there. takes two mana to pull that off so that was a pretty notable advantage but I don't know if that's gonna be enough to win <clears throat> yeah cuz they can checkpoint officer me prior to combat unless I get my removal spell which I did not do Wait, hold on. Let's take a look and see if I have removal in the grave that I could possibly go get. Um. No, no, no. What about something with cycling that I could go get? No. Hmm. In that case, I will just simply hard cast it. Alright. 
Yeah, move to combat. Sandworm gets tapped down. No attacks. And turn. <clears throat> so I'm taking three in the air. I don't die this turn unless they get a burn spell or a significant pump spell. I need to get removal. If I get removal, I remove the checkpoint officer. No, I just lose to his on the flare. <laughs> wow. Okay, so that's worse. Alright. Alright, here we are at what could possibly be the final round of this draft. So, let's see. I can't tell if I've been just getting unlucky or if it's been a genuine bad drafted deck. But so far it's performing worse than the deck that I didn't think was going to do well due to its lack of support. But then I guess you never know. Maybe Jund was the right direction though. Either way, we'll find out. If you don't like your opening hand, you can mulligan. Ah, is that what they call it? <laughs> Alright. You're playing against Coney. Her Vivian avatar. I like giving Vivian a lot. That's a plant sucker. Um, I'm thinking I'll keep this one. Worst case scenario, I think I'll cycle Wilt, but I'm definitely going to be doing Rugged Highlands first, and then. Oh, on the following turn, we'll play Forbidden Friendship. So, Rugged Highlands and Pass. Let's see what happens. Alright, Forest, Forbidden Friendship. One of them can attack, so let's go ahead and get that one point of damage in. That's right, that's a pretty good card, actually. Um, I'm thinking Swiftwater Cliffs and Humble Naturalist. But no attacks. Hmm. Interesting card. Might go with my Bant Symbiosis deck that I've been working on. Oh, look at that! Comboing off. Looks like he's going for a Jeskai thing. Alright, so 3 4 in the air. Alright, well, the Lord Dracus we can use to make a better, um... Better dinosaur over here. He's slightly better. Mmm... I think I'm gonna cycle this Wilt. Yeah. And then I'm going to attack with everything. That technically puts us ahead, just not by a significant margin. On the following turn, it looks like the best bet is going to be playing Forbidden Friendship because we can get a few more things done on the field. Uh, but we will 
we'll see. Alright, another mutate, which means even more damage. Oh yeah, that's, that's gonna hurt. Ouch. But, um, let's do lead the stampede first. Oh, that was nothing. Okay. Yeah, back to the original plan. We just play Forbidden Friendship. Swing and go. No matter how this goes, this is going to be a fast game. Sprite Dragon. Just see one on flyer with haste. Yeah, like looking for non creature spells. So you know it's a it's a pretty decent card. It's just um a little bit niche. Alright. Oh hey look, we have our own flying mutator. We will mutate this onto our other dinosaur. Make it better. Um, yeah, I could, well, actually, let's hold on to the heightened reflexes. Let's see what they do. Well, we didn't win, and it wouldn't have made a difference if we had played the heightened reflexes. No, oh, I think I forgot to take into the account that I could have played another humble naturalist. But this might have been a better situation. I think we're in a good spot to possibly just win the game here. What? Well, hold up, what is this? Uh, yeah, that's fine. <sighs> Alright, that's fine. We'll deal with that. I think it needs 7 points of damage right now. If she plays 2 more non creature spells, we lose. But she's not playing them yet. I don't know if that means she doesn't have them or what. Maybe she's debating her attack options. waiting on us. <clears throat> yeah, sometimes having something in your hand that can cause a stall can be a bit of a burden. Use a timer. Oh, hold up. No attacks. Um, that's actually good for us because I think we just win anyway. Yeah, we do. Because no matter what they block with. 
around it. At least I'm pretty sure. Unless they can burn out stuff that we have. They can. Um. Okay. That's annoying. But I guess it's a good thing we didn't play the Dream Heron. We. We don't attack, I think we actually lose. Yeah, she just needs to play two non-creature spells and she wins. Again. Again with the two non-creature spell part, I mean. Because everything we have on the board is humans, so Dreamtail Heron is not an option. I mean, we have four attackers again. So next turn is a maybe, but it's a matter of getting to next turn. Two cards in hand, and it doesn't seem like they're able to figure anything out. <laughs> All right, this is a creature. I think we're gonna cycle this away. That helps, kind of. Alright, come on. Alright, so going in for five. Wait, that means I think we still win anyway. Let's see. Yeah, just to be sure, we're gonna play Forbidden Friendship real quick. Because it gives us one more body. So, we're gonna go for the swing and see if that allows us a win. Kind of in a position where the key thing is gonna be trying to end the game. Okay, I see that. On the Fertilid. Oh, well, no, never mind. We lose anyway. Yep. No blocks. We'll just take it like a champ. Okay, so. Zero victories. Not a single one. Ouch. That really puts a dampener on it. Alright. Well, we tried. I think we can draft better next time, but for now, that's the end of the second Ecoria draft. Thanks for watching.